Welcome to R3 Tech. This is Ritesh Srinivasan. In this video, I will be discussing about applications of artificial intelligence in the field of healthcare. This is the first part of the series where I will be covering five use cases and the companies working on these use cases. The links to these companies are put in the description of the video. If you are new here and like such content, please subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. The first use case which I am going to discuss about is the application of AI algorithm for screening of X-rays. So Deep Tech is a company uh, which is working in the field of healthcare. They have a solution called as Genki. Now this solution addresses the need for using AI tools for population screening for diseases such as tuberculosis and COVID-19. So the idea here is that you have x-rays or mobile x-ray vans where x-rays of the patients are taken, uh, chest x-rays basically. These x-rays are then uploaded onto a cloud where AI algorithms are running, right? Uh, these uh, AI algorithms from Deep Tech, what they do is that they detect certain abnormalities present in these x-rays and then they create an automated report out of it. This report can then be viewed by a radiologist who can, or a physician who can confirm the finding and then the treatment can be started. Okay, so this is the idea over here. So what, uh, in what ways is this really beneficial to the society or what problem does it address? So what happens is that in a screening program, you have to screen thousands of patients in a day or you know you will be screening lakhs of patients but then to uh, you know read these x-rays it takes that much amount of time for the radiologists to read the x-rays and come out with a report there is a shortage of radiologists as well as there is a, a shortage of their time this is where ai solutions like kinky really help because they create automated reports with a good amount of accuracy which can then be quickly looked up by the radiologist. It saves radiologist time and faster screening can be done. For further details, you can look at uh, this particular link. They have also published a research paper. Uh, the, both the links would be put up in the description. A little bit more about what are the challenges which Deep Tech faced, which they have described in their blog is basically in the x-ray images you can have foreign bodies which are present like pacemakers or it could be some wires which are or it could be some uh, stents which are present right so how does this algorithm take care of you know these kind of uh, foreign bodies which are present in images uh, and uh, this is an image where actually they have they have shown an abnormality uh, and if you look at the conditions that can indicate the presence of TB, you have many conditions over here. So you have to actually detect, uh, you know, uh, so, uh, it could be any of these uh, abnormalities which is present in the chest X-ray image. Another, uh, you know, challenge which uh, they have overcome over here is uh, basically different X-ray machines will have different qualities of image being produced. There could be noise and then how and then they have to take care of the situation where you know the images in the test data set is totally different from the trained data set right so they uh, introduced a lot of augmentations uh, you can read this uh, you know blog for finding more about or understanding more about this uh, use case let us look at the use of ai in the ophthalmology space ophthalmology deals with eyes so basically there is a condition called as diabetic retinopathy which affects over one third of all people with diabetes and is the leading cause of vision loss globally the prevalence of diabetes is also increasing rapidly and diabetic retinopathy is a progressive disease so if you do early detection and intervention you can prevent blindness Due to the alarming increase of diabetes, screening for diabetic retinopathy every year becomes important. So the screening is done during the eye checkup. So during the eye checkup, uh, 
there is a equipment called as fundoscopy by which uh, light is put on the eyes basically uh, and images of the retina are captured so the ophthalmologist can look, look at this image and can identify features of you know diabetic retinopathy now this is where this company called as artilus has come up with a solution called as drishti diabetic retinopathy image uh, screening uh, so what it does is that it automatically identifies from these images whether there is a presence of you know diabetic retinopathy okay and what they have done is that they have put these ai algorithms for this into a chip which is part of the device so it is a completely offline device which can be uh, taken over, uh, to any place where the screening programs have to be done and patients can be automatically screened for diabetic retinopathy going a little bit deeper into you know what are the clinical signs of diabetic retinopathy on fundoscopic examination so it could be hemorrhages or it could be a microaneurysm or hemorrhage which is which, uh, which is visible in the fundus image basically the image of your retina right it could be something called as cotton wool spots it could be hard exudates which are formed right so these different features are present in the uh, images you know of retina of those patients who have diabetic retinopathy so the ai algorithm is trained on many such images to identify for such uh, presence of such clinical uh, signs in the uh, images of the retina another interesting application of ai is in the area of early cancer detection okay so there is this company called freenome.com so what they have done is that uh, they have certain blood tests which uh, look for early warning signs of uh, cancer by looking for some tumor and uh, immune derived signatures which are present in the blood and then they have a set of ai algorithms which looks at these features from these blood tests and then they uh, you know try to find out what is an optimal treatment for uh, such a patient right so this is what is called as uh, liquid biopsy normally what is done for cancers is like once it is detected there's a biopsy or a live cell uh, taken from the uh, cancer or uh, tissue and then looked under the microscope and further analysis is done whereas here the idea is that can we actually detect cancer much earlier by looking at certain features which are present in the blood okay so they have something called as a multi omics platform so what happens over here is that they train on thousands of cancer positive blood samples okay then the multi omics platform learns which biomarker patterns signify a cancer stage type and most effective treatment pathways and they also train on healthy samples to establish what a normal composition of uh, cell free biomarkers should look like okay so how are they doing this uh, you know using molecular biology and machine learning to detect cancer by they are decoding cell free biomarker patterns of you know uh, which are once unthinkable completely so they have blood tests and these from these blood tests they get these biomarkers and they have this multi omics platform where they have ai or machine learning algorithms to spe uh, to specifically identify what could be the biomarker patterns which can uh, signify a cancer stage type and most effective treatment pathways so this is really exciting work and you know uh, if more such uh, things come up in the future cancers could be detected early the next interesting application of ai in the field of healthcare is for drug design right or drug discovery so there is this company called recursion pharma so they have a platform or they call it as industrialized drug uh, discovery where they say that they have an iterative experiment uh, machine where what they do is that uh, you know they do their wet lab biology experiments which are executed automatically 
and the results are produced by machine learning models in the cloud and this process is repeated uh, you know to come up with the best possible drugs let us look more into detail of what are their products so recursion pharma has a suite of products in the end to end life cycle of uh, drug design which starts with first defining the chemical compounds right then you know how do you actually combine these compounds and what combinations need to be you know tested right uh, then it generates uh, basically scientific and statistical experiment variables um, you are that enable quantitative machine learning analysis and integrate automatically with their laboratory robotics then have, they have a robotics automation hardware and software which uh, lets them screen hundreds or th hundreds of thousands of drug compounds and cellular disease models such as models for rare genetic uh, disorders infectious disease right immunology uh, immuno oncology and inflammation and uh, basically they can quickly switch between experiments uh, for rapid follow on experiments based on the latest results then based on the results uh, they actually cre uh, create digital signatures or phenoprints for each biological condition um, so then they use representation learning uh, which allows them to uh, qualitatively calculate high dimensional representations of human cell images ultimately they uh, this helps you know discover relationships between phenoprints and potential new drugs and the novel biological relationships then uh, they have uh, another tool uh, which is designed to use data science to compute the effectiveness of each drug compound in their assays as well as unintended effects as well right uh, so this helps drug discovery scientists to rapidly home in on the most promising drug compounds right then they also have a repredict which is a suite of machine learning solutions to model drug compound relationships using phenoprints chemical structures and pharmacological properties right so they have an end to end uh, chain for of uh, chain of products for actually developing uh, drugs and these make use of uh, machine learning uh, in different stages another interesting application of ai in the field of healthcare is to automatically identify suspected ich strokes on a non contrast ct imaging or ct imaging right uh, so what is an ich uh, stroke ich stands for intracerebral uh, hemorrhage it is caused by bleeding within the brain tissue itself it is a life threatening type of stroke a stroke occurs when the a brain is deprived of oxygen and blood supply uh, ich is most commonly caused by hypertension or it could be arteriovenous malformations or head trauma treatment focuses on stopping of bleeding removing the blood clot and maybe relieving the pressure in the brain right so it is necessary that these kind of strokes are identified at the earliest possible and immediately the Uh, physicians are informed for further treatment so this is where this company called wis.ai uh, has a, a, a software suite called as wis ich which is able to use artificial intelligence algorithms to automatically identify in uh, suspected ich uh, strokes and it can alert the on call stroke team within seconds so it looks at non contrast ct imaging and identifies ich strokes so that they can uh, you know quickly uh, treat the patient so this wis.ai provides uh, uh, ai powered ich detection it provides automated alerts to the stroke team automated ich workflow and triage so because of this they have achieved the following clinical uh, benefits basically uh, wis ich can detect and alert about patients throughout uh, the hub and spoke network of a hospital uh, so that the patients can benefit from a neurosurgical treatment uh, uh, wis dot ich uh, wis ich enables uh, increased access to early surgical intervention which is associated with improved patient uh, outcomes decreased hospital length of stay and decreased ventilator use it also enables cost savings Uh, because of increased access to surgical intervention which is associated with the decreased uh, cost as the length of the stay is 
reduced. So this is another interesting application of uh, AI in the field of healthcare. In this video, I have covered some of the use cases of uh, application of artificial intelligence in the field of healthcare. If you like such videos, please uh, like the video, please share the video, uh, please subscribe to the channel, uh, please press the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I create a new video. See you in the next video. Bye for now.